Hello, welcome back to VS Live. In this episode, I want to um, try um, an experiment, uh, basically based on something like a Disney multiplane camera. Um, you might have seen this uh, a video, like Disney explaining a multi-layered um, camera system where you have multiple layer of canvas and then you kind of drawing on top of it. Uh, we know this idea already. You use Photoshop and it's already like pretty common in many apps you have layers and we also have something like uh, like Picasso painting on glass which is actually kind of interesting uh, it's almost like he's drawing on air even though this is like a there's a glass and then he's painting like that it's actually something that's already um, inside wrist pencil if you kind of just drawing and then you moving the 3d cursor um, although it's not probably not as um, not as uh, clear so let's try if we have grease pencil by default and then create just make it on a blank canvas and then you start drawing and then you are using um, 3d cursor for example or maybe just use the origin uh, if you just use the origin and you start painting uh, so you kind of see there's some kind of plane you're drawing the grease pencil on but it's kind of floating and you don't know where you're painting really if you use 3d cursor maybe it's slightly clearer um, if I maybe try if I delete everything and go back to object mode and draw again now we are using 3d cursor let's try to draw some doodles and then if we move the 3d cursor up in the z-axis and then start um, drawing again we are actually now moving up in plane so it's actually this is actually something that could actually potentially work for what we are um, trying to demonstrate so the it's almost like we are painting on um, on air as if i um, actually want to make this a little bit clearer delete everything again and then go back to object mode go back to draw and zero out the grease pencil so this is the for example the background we, we draw some kind of mountain little bit of sun and you we move up the grease pencil one meter and the next thing we want to draw maybe some kind of ground or ocean and we move it up again um, maybe draw maybe like like a rocket or maybe like a UFO And move it up again and then we draw something just some kind of decorations move it up and maybe draw some cloud and then after we do that we you can see we are kind of drawing in, in plane and then it's layered it's layered quite nicely so one unit uh, each time so I want to demonstrate this a little bit clearer this is actually already pretty cool we have unlimited canvas and we have a way to place it in layers I know that you can already do this in many different ways um, Grease Pencil itself also supporting layers kind of invisible layers but this is kind of nice because you already you get this parallax effects very very quickly so if I want to demonstrate this with with Sphere Chalk it's probably gonna be clearer Spectre of nodes and let's create an actual plane so I'm gonna save this as demo multi layer so we have a plane and I'll create this plane so we have this plane right we can center this out so we, we actually have an actual canvas let's make this 4 by 8 
and actually I prefer four by okay eight by six six by eight okay now from here um, I can turn on merge and also I will use range integer turn on count and use vector just to make a duplicate up and turn on cavity so we can see our canvas maybe we can also turn on wireframe if you like okay so we have our canvas and we can we can actually start painting on this canvas so so this is for example the the background layer and we want to create a grease pencil blank draw and we're gonna place the strokes on the surface okay <clears throat> so let's see uh, let's what's gonna be in the background maybe some kind of planet I actually should start drawing with a proper material with maybe with fill and so that's our planet and then I can go up in the canvas I couldn't see the background however if I'm doing it this way um, that's okay for now just a demonstration maybe create a new material Give, uh, give it a different color <clears throat> so I'm painting like naturally I can go around the canvas and it's still gonna be placed on that layer so that's the that's the cool thing about this method and then you go up again on the canvas and then yeah gonna have a new material Give it a yellow color so I, I still don't know if this if this gonna work um, perfectly but it's a proof of concept <clears throat> oh, okay so it's why is that guy become yellow color okay interesting so this guy is actually blue okay that's okay I got it <clears throat> and continue up the layer and let's have a new another material fill with different color what's what a okay green make some kind of creature and let's have a look what we have so far so we have this kind of layering happening and we have the parallax so that's kind of nice and currently I'm painting everything under one grease pencil would be nice to have multiple grease pencil um, then with, uh, definitely this is an interesting method and um, maybe I wonder if we have we can have our canvas and then if we could make it so that this guy is transparent while we are painting so visibility viewport display maybe display as wire and I go up the canvas and I'm wondering if I can paint now so apparently we did uh, as a wireframe we cannot paint on top of it properly okay that's too bad solid So object is a uh, display as solid. Mm, 
Okay, this guy display as maybe it's, okay as solid we can actually use grease pencil and paint on top of it. Yep. Okay, apparently we need to have it in solid mode. Although I'm pretty sure I can go to wire. Maybe we can use bound now. Um, bound no. There must be a way to make this transparent while we can still painting do the the grease pencil painting on top of it. But yeah, you got the idea so multi-layer canvas um, and then you paint on top of it the other day uh, we try to paint on the on the sphere and we can use the same idea actually so if we want to have like a circular spherical canvas you can kind of scale the the canvas a little bit by a little bit So we, we could actually do it so that uh, we don't have multiple layer like this, but it's just for demonstrations. Let me save this. So instead of using plane, I will be using sphere. And instead of offsetting it like this, we're gonna use the scale. So if we go to wireframe, you can see now we have multiple objects. It is actually a sim uh, similar effect if we are using if we are using array. So now um, we can control the actual size of the sphere. Now we go inside and try to paint that way. Um, my have trouble zooming in. Okay, set the maximum zoom. It's okay, slightly difficult, but we can go backward. So this is the smallest one, I believe. Okay, count um, zero. So that's zero, and then we have. Okay, let's do it this way. So we still have our grease pencil. Okay, cool. And let's delete everything. Go back to draw. Painting on surface. Go to this mode. Oh, we can have x-ray mode, okay. Anyway, let's do a bit of painting. And then we go up a layer. So we are painting on a 3D canvas and it's also multi-layer. kind of nice uh, we are kind of like <clears throat> simulating um, VR kind of painting it's like a Disney multi multi-plane or Picasso painting on glass kind of wish we can turn on the transparency turn on and off the transparency okay we, we kind of able to do that so this is this is pretty good <clears throat> Continue on. So still a single grease pencil, and we have multi-layer. And then the canvas is actually three D, so we, we we are really we don't have any limits. 
so it is kind of creating like a death death kind of effect and at some point you can turn off the canvas and you have this quite weird art um, and if you if you are if you're actually painting with multiple grease pencil you can you can perhaps uh, rotate it or something let's let me try so go up go up in layer or actually go down create create a new grease pencil blank draw on surface and then we want to use a different different material and start painting and then go up again in layer so we don't have any limit we can keep going up in layer and we get automatic parallax because this is actually in 3d okay so turn off the canvas nice effects and we can rotate we can go back to object mode and then rotate our wrist pencil if it's a circular and spherical we probably we can rotate it from the, the correct pivot oh okay it's rotating from maybe using the 3d cursor <clears throat> some kind of a very very unusual kind of artwork and then you can actually export this out as um, AR format GLTF or USDZ and you might get something interesting kind of wondering if we can just convert this convert this pencil as a path okay as a path it's just a curve without anything but we can okay don't do that <coughs> 3d fill can we feel it extrude depth so extrude and depth that's only for the outline of the grease pencil how about the inside Well, well, even as something like this, uh, it's already kind of quite unusual. Okay, how to turn off the wireframe? All right. So because this is like 3d and you can export it out but i kind of want to have the fill kind of converted as well hmm, okay maybe there's a way to do that but this already some kind of new concept so you got the idea so yeah thanks to picasso and glass canvas look at this this is vr and multi-layer disney multi-layer we can simulate that in Blender and we create some kind of 3D VR environment even though, even though the depth is kind of fake using this kind of canvas. Uh, yeah, you get the idea. Uh, let me know what you think. Maybe we can improve this. Um, I think the 3D cursor also have potential. The way we can just simply move the 3D cursor in space and then paint over uh, using this um, reference so yeah there's a lot of ways to do this but it's interesting something to explore yourself um, so yeah thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye